Dear hey students, in this module, we'll take a look at the Uniprot database. You know that the public databases, they contain lots of information on the DNA, RNA, and protein sequences, where the DNA and RNA information can be found in one database, that is the gene bank, while for the proteins, you may have to go to Uniprot. So in this module, we're going to focus on using the Uniprot database for protein sequence analysis. Before we do that, let's take an example protein. So in this case, my favorite protein is ubiquitin. So here you go. It's an important protein for recycling within the cellular cytoplasm, and it is responsible for the ubiquitination pathway. So it's a very important protein, and we'll see how we can search this from the Uniprot database. So first thing first, how do you access Uniprot database? You just go to uniprot.org here. And as a result, you will see this web page. And if you look carefully, you can specify accession number or organism here. And the accession number can be typed in, or even the protein sequence can be typed in. So once you click that, then Uniprot will take you to the search results. Importantly, if you look at this web page, you can search a lot of proteomes from different species. You can look at the sequence archives. You can look at the sequence clusters as well, as well as a lot of other uh, supporting data such as, such as taxonomy and diseases. So now that you have submitted ubiquitin here, the sequence, so what do you get as a result? Let's see. So the Uniprot database relies on these other databases to fetch Uniprot and it gives you the accession number, the identifier, the sequence, the molecular mass and some modifications as well. So this is what you will see upon your search in Uniprot. So now that we have searched for it, you can see the search results page. So they have been filtered by reviewed versus unreviewed. So reviewed would be those sequences which have been reviewed by uh, different reviewers. While these unreviewed ones will be those sequences that, are, that have been provided to Uniprot and have not yet been reviewed. So here you may have some entries the entry names, and some descriptions of the protein you're trying to search. So you can simply click on the entry here, and you will be taken to the details of this entry as shown here. So this protein sequence is given here. If you look closely, MGSYML, FDSL here and the sequences have been ordered in pairs of 10 amino acids for you from 1 till 50. The entire sequence is provided and you can also look at its FASTA or human readable format and process it further. So in summary, Uniprot can help you to obtain the sequence information on proteins and the information it can help you with is the amino acid sequence, of course, the IDs, the names, the species, and other information. More so, you can cross-reference it to the gene bank to see which genes are responsible for translating this protein.